Hi, I'm Jordan Klevinoff. I'm an OBGYN resident at Christiana Hospital, and welcome to this week's episode yeah. of Pocket Pearls. In this week's episode, I'm here with two of my co-residents, Dr. Heidi Yoon and Dr. Stephanie Gargano, and we're going to talk about a quick differential for low urine output. So often as residents, we're either getting paged about low urine output or something we're first noticing on rounds. Most commonly, these patients are our GYM patients, but low urine output is also an ominous sign in our OB world. So Stephanie has some questions for us. Dr. Yoon, how do I know what a normal urine output should be? So let's define the definition of oliguria. We define oliguria by less than 500 milliliters per 24 hours, or if you use the formula 0.5 milliliter per kilogram per hour. In addition, if someone's making less than 50 milliliter per day, then you worry about anuria. What if I get paged about a patient who's not making any urine? In our world, that's not an uncommon thing. Anuria is very rare, but one thing you have to consider is whether or not the patient had surgery. If the patient had pelvic surgery or she's a post-op GYM patient, then what you have to consider if you have anuria is either a urinary tract injury or complete urinary obstruction. Anuria is also present in the OB world, though definitely not as much, but one thing you should consider again is obstruction due to kinking of the urethra, often by the fetal head if the patient has a catheter in place. In the OB world, urinary tract injury should also be suspected if the patient's had a C-section. What is the differential diagnosis in a patient who's had surgery and now has anuria? Generally, from most common to least common, we think of obstruction, retention, or bilateral ureteral injury. So what do I do to figure that out? If the patient doesn't have a Foley catheter and you're concerned about urinary retention, you can do a bladder scan at bedside or bring an ultrasound and just look and see if there's any urine in the bladder. If you're concerned the obstruction is due to the Foley catheter that's there, maybe it's kinked, you can try adjusting it or replacing it. You can have the nurse flush the catheter. And sometimes, if you're really lucky, you can actually see bilateral ureteral jets on your ultrasound. What if the patient is making urine, but the urine output is low? It's important to remember the differential for all urea and anuria overlaps. You first want to assess the patient's intravascular status, looking at their vital signs and see if you can give them fluid hydration to resolve the oliguria. In addition, you want to keep in mind that transient oliguria post-op can be a common finding that will resolve as well. How can I figure out what's going on? Figuring out exactly what's going on can be challenging. This is where your exam can be really helpful. So in our world, most often I think that low urine output is usually due to hypovolemia. So things you have to consider is that the patient could be bleeding. And then you should see signs like hypotension, tachycardia, lab work can be helpful. If it's not due to bleeding, they can be hypovolemic from insensible losses from surgery, or they can be third spacing their fluid, but again, this is where you would expect to have exam findings like edema or crackles in their lungs. Key points from today's talk are that anuria is pretty rare, but oliguria is something we as OBGYN residents see pretty commonly. Quick things you have to consider is that the patient's hypovolemic, that can be bleeding, insensible losses, or third spacing fluid. Other causes of anuria or oliguria may be urinary tract injury or urinary obstruction. Join us in our next video where we'll talk about how to figure out exactly what's going on. So in our world, if, do it again. I hate the fucking so. I hate it so much. Did you say so? Yes. I didn't even know it. It drives me crazy now because he points it out every time. Right. By the, ugh, I can't do it. I can't do it. You can do it. It's okay. I'm really, it's okay. Awkward. It's right. I'm really <laughs> awkward. He I'm just, very <laughs> awkward. He just, Okay, let's try it again and everybody sit still. <laughs> All of this out I is can't fine. Do it. You can do it. You tell me when this stuff. To define all your edit. Ugh, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> Three, I can't speak English. Two, Just go. One. Retention or bilateral ureteral injury. <laughs> In a world where <laughs> patients aren't here. <laughs> try to one dot. <laughs> two <laughs> ureters. <laughs> He's cracking himself up. Oh. I, I love my job. I love my job. Alright, I'm gonna nail it.